Hello, welcome to this video. You have a pretty fucking sick background, I would say. That's not too shabby. What I'm talking about in this video is kind of like, I wish I knew this five years ago, four years ago, three years ago, when I was in the heat of overcoming my stutter. It's a trap that is everyone goes through. I guarantee you, you, you might say, I might not go through this trap. You either are in it right now, or you have been through it, or you're going to go through it. I promise you. This is something that I have learned through overcoming my stutter, something that I've learned I fell into this trap over and over and over again. Now that I'm not falling into it, that's how I can say I've overcome my stutter because I'm no longer falling into this common, common trap people who stutter do that keeps them stuck, that keeps them stagnant, that keeps them in the same place, but actually digressing over time because they start to lose hope. They start to think what they're doing isn't working. Maybe it is if it's a speech technique or maybe it is if it's um, a fucking ear thing. You, uh, what's a speech easy thing you put in your ear? It's like five grand. You put it in your ear and it like mimics your voice really quick after you say it after you say a word the most gimmicky of gimmicks ever no okay oh i was gonna go on a tangent there <laughs> anyway let's stick to this topic of this video if you don't know who i am my name is chase gillis i help people overcome stuttering the authentic way the same way i did without speech techniques without ear devices without the classic speech therapy way of reading out loud and all that shit, but by actually addressing the root issues deep inside of us why we're so afraid to get judged why we feel less than others when we stutter why in certain environments we go into a tense state into a panic state that causes us to feel inferior that causes our self-esteem to drop that causes us to stutter why does that happen i help people do that and um, if you want a quick one-on-one -on -one call quick one-on-one -on -one call with me um, look at the description there's a link there to join a call with me where i can discuss your situation i guess it'd be a wee thing not just me i'm going to discuss what's going on inside of you i don't know anything about you but let me discuss it it would be we would just dis discuss your situation all right so the this trap that everyone falls into all my clients fall into but luckily i'm there to be like yo i told you about it you're in there now what have you learned and they then are able to get out of the trap and never fall back into it but i feel like everyone at some point of the journey no no matter how much i tell you you will fall into it but being able to recover and learn from that is what it's all about so what the trap is um first something that's on my brain is like the reason why you have to fall in fall into it because i feel a lot of things in life you have to learn the hard way i feel like most things in life maybe it's just me but when someone tells me something i kind of believe it but then when they tell me something and that happens i'm like oh you were right and i don't second guess what happened so i'm going to tell it to you now you may still still fall into it but then when you do it you're gonna be you're gonna be like oh i remember that video from chase he told me about it he's right that's what's gonna happen all right so what this trap is stems from your goals it stems from what your goals are in order i'm not in order what your goals are in terms of your speech a lot of people their goals in the stuttering journey that they're on is to gain fluency that's the goal but yet that's not the trap yet because i haven't explained why it's a trap the reason why that can lead that always leads to a leads to a trap is because if your goal is fluency you will pride yourself and you will you will think you are winning 
when you are being more fluent. So this could mean you feel better about yourselves. You feel better about yourself when you're playing small, when you're only talking to people you feel comfortable in, when you go for months and months not going out, not pushing yourself, and you're like, fuck yeah, I'm a beast. But you're actually not living life. You're actually not having different stresses test you. You're just living in this small little isolated cube that's trying to keep you safe. But the moment you go out and you, your, your body takes on new stresses, you go into new, in, new environments and you start to stutter, you are going to fucking crumble. You are going to crumble. Now it's going to cause a relapse. It's going to cause you to downward spiral to the fucking pits of this earth. And I know what that's like. Everyone goes through that shit. All right. Why this is a trap. And what, what I really wanted to make this video about is I really want you to pay attention when your self-worth goes up. And when your self-worth goes down, a lot of people think, a lot of people understand that their self-worth goes up. I mean, their self-worth goes down, their self-esteem crashes, their confidence fucking hits the ground when they start to stutter a lot. And they want to resist that. But the moment their self-esteem goes up when they say a word fluently, or say a sentence fluently, there's no resistance there. They're like, yeah. Look at me, I'm fucking awesome. And I get it, like I, I was in those shoes. But the, the truth is, the, the, the harsh reality is, to the level, to the extent your self-esteem, your self-worth, your confidence rises when you, when you speak a word fluently or you go on a fluent streak, is to the same extent your confidence, self-esteem, self-worth will crash when you stutter and you're going to stutter again you are i'm going to stutter again that's a promise there's going to be different environments that cause you different stress that make your body tense up you're going to stutter again and if that's in your brain if you're allowing your stutter to dictate your self-worth self-confidence self-esteem then you're going to be the fucking leaf in the wind trying to play it safe for the rest of your life. And this is what I do not want to happen. I don't want you to make a relationship in your brain. It might already be like this where you're saying, I feel good when I'm fluent. I feel bad when I stutter because you are going to be in fucking bubble wrap navigating this world trying not to stutter in your head avoiding substituting words and you'll never be able to show the true you you will never be able to show your true personality because you're gonna feel unsafe it's impossible to show the true authentic you when you feel unsafe inside because you don't want to plummet because you may stutter that's the trap the trap is feeling good when you're fluent I'm like you can you can appreciate the moments you can but you must change your goal this is what i said at the very beginning of the video it's the goal that's the problem why is your goal fluency no one's ever going to be completely fluent for the rest of their life i won't be the most fluent person will never be you won't be we will all stutter at some point and if we're attaching some self-worth to that when we know it's inevitable gonna fall down most likely fucking today or tomorrow what are we doing that is stupid I get it I get why you'd want to because you you think the grass is always always greener I guarantee you it's not what is greener where the grass is greener is when you feel confident no matter what. And I'm not saying confident all the time, right? That's impossible. I'm not confident all the time. I'm sometimes low con low confidence, but my stutter is not connected to my confidence. My stutter is not connected to my self-esteem, where if I stutter, it's not gonna drop it. And if I'm fluent, it doesn't rise it. My actions do. I have changed my relationship with my stutter 
with my self-esteem so that my stutter doesn't fluctuate it, my actions do. So if I'm not taking action, you best believe I'm gonna feel like shit. Rightly so, because I want to take, <laughs> I just say, I wanna take from this world, but that sounds bad. I, I wanna squeeze and rinse and repeat all I can from this experience. And if I'm taking action, of course I'm gonna be happy. I'm having ex experiences. That's why I'm fucking out here in Colombia. But if I'm lazy in bed and not taking action, then I will feel like shit. Rightly so, I'm glad it's that way. I'm glad it's that way. That means my self-esteem, self-worth, confidence is all in my control though. Not like my stutter, it's all in my control because I can always control my actions. I can always control my actions. And yes, I can control my stutter to some extent. I can speak really slow, I can speak with a speech technique, but I don't do that shit, all right? I'm okay if I stutter, I'm okay if I don't. And that's when the most fluent version of me comes out. And that's when the truest version of me comes out. That's when my true off, my true personal, my true personality shines. And that's when I feel the best, okay? And that's what I want for you to do. I was gonna say, do not fall, fall into this trap. But the truth is, you, you may. All my clients do. They, they don't stay there for long. It may be like a two hour trap for them. It may be like a 30 minute trap for them. Maybe like a two day trap for them. But the thing is, if you don't have an action plan to get out of this and then start to rewire your brain to connecting your self-worth to your actions, if you don't know how to disconnect your stutter from your self-worth, from your confidence, you won't get out of that trap. If you don't know how to change your goal, and it's not as simple as saying, okay, I'm gonna change my goal because for fucking 15 years, 25 years, 30 years, you have had the same goal. It takes work. It takes un un unwiring. That's what I had to go through. And that's what I'm bringing all my clients, all my clients, oh, I did say that, right? I thought I said it weird. All my clients through as well. If that made sense to you and that resonated with you and you're actually like, yeah, you know what, Chase? I don't want to trial and error for another 15 years of my life to try to figure this out. I'm done with it now. I want to start changing my patterns. I want to start changing the way I think. I want to feel better consistently, even if I stutter and I want to be able to show my true self, regardless of how it comes out, then I fucking love you. <laughs> and I offer one-on-one -on -one calls where you can talk to me. All right, not my assistant, because I don't have one right now. It's just me. <laughs> it's just me. If you want to talk to me, tell me about your situation, and I can see what the right path for you would be, whether it be continue going what you're doing, whether it be changing a little bit here, or whether, or whether it be really taking this shit seriously when I have a good vibe from you and seeing that you're actually ready to take action, then we may be able to work, to, then we may be able to work together if we are lucky enough all right so if you want to talk to me and see what's up click the closest link down below in the description book your free one-on-one -on -one call with me and i'll call you and we can have a little genuine discussion about what's going on inside of you right now all right i love you i hope that was helpful and uh, i'll see you in the next video